Terry, what's next for Juan? I mean, he's uh, we've seen a lot of things. We've seen the stolen base game a little bit here. Uh, what, what's next in his development to get to the to the next level? Well, you know, Kevin, I'll tell you, we, we've, as the season has gone on, we've tried different things. We've we've talked to him about his approach at home plate, about, you know, shrinking the strike zone, you know, being a little bit more patient at home plate. And then we've talked to him about, hey, look, you got to learn, you know, you got to be realize there's times in the game, times during uh, during a season where you got to start trying to pull the ball or else they're going to pitch you a certain way. Uh, and now he's saying, look, if you're going to hit the top of this order, you've got to use one of your skills that you have, and that's your foot speed. And we've got to learn how. So now, as he and he continues to try to work at all those skills, now we, we've seen a guy who's gotten better at, in, in a lot of areas. Now he's just got to put it together and have a complete year. When you're talking about September for a team where you are right now, what are the challenges as a manager of motivating a team at this point of the season? Well, number one, don't ever think for one second losing is going to be accepted here. So, you know, hey, look, we're going to play young guys. And a lot of times that's being perceived, well, we've given up. That's not the case here. You know, one of the things we preach is this has, if you, you got to go out and you've got to show us you belong here. And, and that's where a lot of times young players in September can lift the team up because they bring more energy. Guys, a lot, some guys are tired, but we are very lucky, Kevin. I've got a, a clubhouse with our main two veterans. You know, they're the most first-class human beings you've ever won, and they're, they're very proud. And, and with that pride comes the fact they want to win. And, and so they go out each and every day, and they do the best they can. Bartolo Colon has brought a huge leadership to that pitching staff about, hey, every time you're out there, you're being watched, you're being analyzed, and you got to go out there and pitch your best game because it might be the last game you ever pitch. And so we were lucky. And so for me in September, it's, hey, you know, we're still playing for something. People people come to see a, a good effort, and that's all, you know, hopefully that's what they're going to see. One of the, those young guys you're playing, Playing is Herrera, Dilson Herrera. Obviously, he's hit a little bit. You know, you've always said, I think it's true, hard sometimes to judge the either spring training or the September stats. So how do you judge him? How do you how do you say if what you're seeing is real or if part of that is because they're even though he's making his debut and he's 20, there really isn't any pressure on him at this point. There's not, but you know what? He can't tell him that. Because at 20 years old, you're thinking that boy, you're you know this is your chance to make it, and one you know we're seeing a lot of very positive things. There's some things in his game that he has to get better at, mm -hmm. um, but I think he's, they're so mind, they're just so small. He's going to get him in a hurry because he's a baseball player right. first and foremost. So you know when it comes to hey you look, you got to get yourself in a better position to field certain kind of ground balls. He's going to get that, and, and it's not going to take him a year. It's going to take him you know two or three weeks in spring training on a daily basis to go out and work on those things because uh, again. He's another guy who wants to be as good as he can be, and uh, I think he's going to be really, really good offensively. Travis, obviously been a different guy. I think the one thing, though, you can look at the numbers all day, Terry, and you, you saw this. When he was here before, you didn't see the pop off the bat. He did not hit line drives sprayed all over the park. What has he done? What have you seen differently to create that? You know, it's one thing if balls weren't falling in, but he's, he's banging the ball over the place. Now. Well, I see a much more aggressive swing. Instead of just trying to feel for the ball and put the ball in play and use the field to hit, he's, he's getting in his mind, hey, I'm hitting a double here. Mm -hmm. And, and his, whole, his whole swing, he swings at every ball aggressively. All right, there's times you're going to swing and miss. That comes with the territory, and that comes with playing this game. But uh, he, he's, he's got, a, I think, the, the fact that he's got better plate coverage, he's hitting the ball out over the plate much better than he did earlier when he was first here. Uh, but I'll tell you, with, with what his experience got him in AAA, it was great confidence. Hey, look, I can do this, and I'm going to go up and show him. Very good luck tonight. Thanks, Kev.